Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is part 3 of our C-sharp exercise where we are creating our classes for customers and preferred customers. Uh, so um, we already created all the classes, we have our uh, discount levels uh, calculated and, and uh, now we can uh, start putting it all um, all together. So, um, uh, what should we do next? We have this. They have, yeah, this class is kind of finished. So uh, now we need uh, a way to create classes. Now we could do it all in our program, uh, in our main method. But that would be like a lot of a uh, lot of code in it. So I prefer to create another class. And uh, I'll call this one uh, data operations. And that's because we will be reading and writing to to a file, creating uh, uh, object arrays and all that stuff. So um, this class will be static because I'm going to have. I don't need to instantiate the class, uh, the object. I will simply have access to all the methods uh, in it directly just by uh, uh, without uh, passing any data into our cons into the constructor or anything like that so um, this one will basically take care of all the uh, reading from the file writing to a file creating an array and displaying the information so uh, first thing I'm gonna create an array of preferred customers and it's gonna be a public static preferred uh, preferred customer but it's gonna be an array of it and I'll just call it preferred customers so in other words this one will be an array of preferred customers the next thing I need to get an ID the user enters as input because remember in the exercise the user enters ID and then we, we can display the information about the customer with that particular ID so I'm gonna do public static string entered ID so next thing I'm gonna read the file so I'm gonna go static void get data this is uh, gonna be our method that reads the file the text file and creates the object uh, uh, passes them into our preferred customers array so uh, read from the text file and how do we do it well it's let's use the using statement I'll just call a variable called reader uh, create a variable called reader and it will e equal to the new stream reader and the, fi uh, the file I'm looking for I, I named it customer info txt since I placed it into a debug into my debug folder uh, I don't have to use any path it has direct access to it right away right away so uh, into our using statement uh, I'm going to create a variable called index uh, initialize it to zero it's gonna be an integer this will be we are going to loop through uh, all the lines in a file and each line is one customer so index will simply hold the index for each uh, customer that we passed into our array so now I can initialize our preferred customers array so to a new preferred customer array and we have five uh, customers in it so I'll just hard code it I'll just press five in there normally you would uh, actually use a variable for this in case you know later you add customers or delete customers but in this case I'll simply use five because that's how many we have so now I can read the file so while the reader reads until it's not the end of stream as long as there's anything to read we will uh, we will read it and split it uh, based on our semicolon because remember each record in the uh, text file is uh, uh, separated by the semicolon so uh, I'm gonna do get the 
line from uh, the text file into an array. So uh, how do we do that? Well, let's create a variable called line, which will equal the reader dot read line. This will basically line is now gonna be an array, uh, one line at a time from like, the, let's say it reads the customer's text. So this will be passed into an array and this will be index zero, the name. Here will be the index uh, uh, one. All this data separated by the semicolon will be passed into our line uh, that I call line uh, array. So I'm gonna just split it. And like I said, I'm gonna split it by the character of the semicolon right there. Or is it just a column actually? Yeah. And never mind. So uh, this is our separator. And now we have a line uh, with the each of the data as a separate index. So uh, now I can create a variable name, for example. That's how the uh, text file is uh, constructed. It's, the name is first, the address is second, email. Uh, I mean, that's the phone number, ID, email, the spend amount, and then there's the on the cust on the email list. So I'm gonna do one of the. Uh, I'm gonna do them in order. So the name equals whatever the line index zero is. Then the variable address is stored into line uh, the index one. The variable. Uh, address is already there. So the phone equals line. Uh, let's do variable three. Actually two. I forgot two. There. Now the uh, ID is uh, three. The email is uh, four. And the spend amount is five but uh spend amount we want we, not, we want to do calculations against so i'm gonna convert it uh to integer because uh, like i said at the first video all these spend amounts are stored as an integer in this text file so i'm just gonna use integer instead of double so i'm gonna convert the whatever is stored in the line index five which is the spend amount and I'm gonna convert it into uh, into an integer. And finally, I'm gonna do on email list variable. And this one is a boolean, so it's gonna be convert to boolean, and it's gonna be the line index of six. So now I have all the data, and now I can create an object of the preferred customers of the index. Remember, I created the index, so in the first one will be index zero uh, in our array of preferred customers, and I will pass the new preferred customer into it, and you can see that it's asking for the name, address, phone, ID, email, uh, spent amount, and the on email list. So it creates the object and then passes it right into our array of preferred customers to the index, which is currently a zero. So after we create this object and uh, we add it to our array, we have to increase the index to the next customer, to the next uh, object, so we can pass that one to the next index of the array. So this is our this is how you read the data from the file and how you create the object of the of all the customers from that file. Now at the end we will also need to update the data. Uh, so uh, yeah, well, we can just do that right now. It's gonna be similar. I'm just gonna copy paste this thing, and uh, I'm just gonna call this public. Uh, I'm of one bracket uh, after this one I'm just gonna call this uh, update data and this one will write the array into a new file 
uh, and supposedly it will have the new spend amount in it based on the discounts so uh, I'm just gonna use uh, instead of reader I'm gonna use writer I'll just call it writer stream writer and I'm gonna create another file I'll just call it customer info 2 you could write it straight into the original file but uh, for at least for the testing purposes I want to create a new one to see you know that it's actually working now I wanted any uh, index I don't need the preferred customers because that already was created for me so uh, I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna delete all this and over here I'm going to do for for loop instead so for i equals zero i is less than uh, five and i plus plus I mean I don't I'm not reading from the file so I don't need the line uh, but I still going to create the name address and phone but now these I'm not gonna be setting them I'm gonna be getting them from the array that we already created because that's the I'm gonna grab the data from the array and write them into the uh, into the new file so I'm gonna create uh, preferred not create but I'm gonna call the preferred customers the index of I and I'm gonna write the the name will equal the customer name of that so um, let me just copy paste that so the address will be customer so the array of index i that's the same customer so but uh, this is his address now we will do the call the phone uh, property and now we will do the uh, customer id and uh, email so that's the email, oh, the email, or customer email. And now it's the spend amount. Now the spend amount, the, the new spend amount is going to be calculated over here in our calculate amount that uh, uh, gets the cu current uh, amount that we spend and uh, minus the discount so that's gonna be our new spend amount that we will write into our new file so instead of calling the spend amount I'm going to call the method called the calculate amount which will return the new uh, spent amount to us so uh, the spend amount for the new file will be the preferred customer of the index I and I will call the calculate amount and finally, on email list, uh, I will simply paste the on email list property. And here, where we created the new object, we are not creating an object. We are simply writing all this data into the new file. So I will do writer dot write line, and I'll create a line by line. Remember. Uh, uh, how the file is constructed you got the name you got the address and it's all separated by the column comma so uh, that's the uh, I'm gonna do the name it's gonna be first then we will up put the uh, what was the, the address and all we will separate them again the same way like we construct uh, like the original file is so it's gonna be two then three then four Guess what's next? Yep, it's five. And well, let's do six as well. All right, and so uh, we will pass the name, address, not pass, but uh, replace the placeholders with it. ID, email, the spent amount. In fact, you know what? Let me rename this instead of spent amount. I'll call it updated spent amount because that's actually what it is. It's not the original spend amount, it's the updated spend amount. And on email list. Now on email list is a true or false. So instead of just uh, passing the 
whatever is being stored on email list I'm gonna do a little ternary uh, if statement and figure out whether it's true or false and actually then write true or false text so I will do on email list now is it equal to true well if it is then we will simply write true into our file and if it is not then we will output literally output false the actual text false to it so uh, let me just do this and look at spend amount I, I misspelled it probably so on email list I forgot a comma here I bet it's better okay so that's that uh, I'm, seems like I have some bracket problem once again uh, I'm missing one instead as always some all these brackets all right uh, it's less accessible oh okay preferred customer is less accessible because I forgot to make this one public and this one I made public so it was telling me that hey this one is public and the original one is not so uh, which one is it so yeah they're both public okay so we have a uh, reading from the uh, file a writing to the file and um, in the next video we will conclude it we, I will go through like uh, some kind of data validation you know when we when the user enters ID you want to make sure that the ID is correct and that it actually exists in the file before we actually display anything so stick around and I will see you in the next video take care